Hey, just a disclaimer, this video has some blown out audio in a few parts, so I apologize about that. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy. Hey, welcome back. I'm Bahamut. This is a weird intro that I'm doing, I don't know why I'm doing it this way, but whatever. And I'm back. New, well, not really a new episode. Uh, new episode, yes. I can't think, I just woke up from a nap. And it's like, 8 o'clock at night. Whatever. Uh, new episode, Fate Grand Order. More of a bonus episode, though. I'm going to do the Musashi... Um, what is it, a trial quest? Yeah, trial quest for Musashi. Uh, let's see... I forget what these are like. I thought they had story involved in them, so that's why... I, yeah, it does, so... Yeah, that's why I'm doing it. It's got story involved. I love story. Everyone loves story. Event quest, intruders. I would love to roll for Musashi. In fact, I might actually, even though I'm never gonna really use her. Uh, although, ooh, I could also roll for Hassam when he comes out, or um, uh, da -da 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 -da, MHX Alter. Oh, I don't know what to do. Ooh, sword slashes. Bamboo. I can't believe this. Dodge. Oh, and it's uh, him. Another guy from the Japanese Lost Belt or whatever. I think it was a Lost Belt. Or maybe it was a Epic of Remnant. Uh, yeah, it was an Epic of Remnant, I think. Silence. Whoa, hold on. You were cheating. I didn't even see when you drew your sword. Seriously, cut that out. What kind of nonsense is a move I can't even see after I already saw through your movement? You think people can just swing their sword around like chopsticks or something? Strength is not from the body alone, but from a state of perfect zen and absolute purity. That was the ultimate strike, one I spent my entire career as a swordsman perfecting. And yet, you were able to parry it somehow. I didn't pay much attention to this twaddle about the greatest swordsman under heaven since it sounded like you made it up. But now I must cut you down. No matter what, I must cut you down. Wait, 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 wait. No way, I don't want to fight when I can't win. Besides, you tricked me. What do you mean the name Yagyu Avedo is meaningless? Your skill with a sword is godlike. The people who told me your style was child's play lied. Of course, only the one who rules our nation knows the strength of my skill. Such is not meant for the likes of lowly peasants. If you want to curse anything for being cut down in the middle of the street, curse your own aura as a swordsman. Well... I can't really complain since I was the one who picked a fight with you. Wait, no, I will complain. Shouldn't a powerful swordsman and government official like you just ignore taunts from a wanderer like me? But no, not only did you ambush me, but you weren't even taking the fight seriously. That's not fair, you bully. Bullying the weak is bad. Looking at him, it seems nothing I say will matter anymore. This old geezer is unlike any opponent I've faced before. I can't see his attacks. I can't win. I guess this is the this is the end of the road for me. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, it's that thing again. Thank you, oh merciful Bodavista. Bodhisvada? I don't know. Uh, since it looks like luck is on my side, I better take advantage of it and run. Sorry, but our fight ends here. Yagyu something. I won't taunt you again, so just forget about me. Bye. Phew, that worked. I'm getting so dizzy right now. I'm not entirely sure what happened with that animation. She's gone to think she would be versed in the demon war arts as well as swordsmanship. I may have injured her, but her head is still on her shoulders. To survive my secret technique not once, but twice. Shinmen Musashi no Kami Fujiwara no Horonobu. I will never forget your name. That is a mouthful of a name. What, is that it for the ray shift already? Huh. Uh, the skip logo thingy's still up there, so maybe not. Maybe we're jumping further in time? Wait, this is, uh... This is... Uh... Oh, okay. I figured Archimen would pop up. I've seen this place before. This looks familiar. Uh... I've seen this place before. 
Ugh. Hmm. Ah. My head hurts. Someone has collapsed. Hey, are you okay? Someone has collapsed. Uh, this is nothing. I can still fight. Wait, huh? Who are you? Where's that scary old geezer? Y you were about to kill me. No, who are you? You, you were about to kill me. Sorry about that. You know, if you tell me what's going on, I'll be more apologetic. I'll even buy you a bowl of udon after. I love udon. But before that, you, unfamiliar foreigner, before y you name yourself, you must answer this. Who in the world am I, and where exactly is this? Okay, uh, you're Musashi. I know that. If this is a test, though. Uh, you lost your memories? You lost your memories? Yes, it seems that way. I must have hit my head hard and forgot who I am. So I'd appreciate it if you could tell me my name. Oh, but if you don't know, that's fine too. If you could just point me to a nearby tea shop, I'll handle the rest myself. So, do you know my name? Do you know anything about this place? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I don't know either. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know either. Which is a lie, because I do. I see, yep. Then nothing I can do, this stuff happens. Sorry for asking so much. Anyway, let's get back to the introduction. What's your name? My memories don't matter, but I can call someone I just met. Hey, you, right? Bahamut. Okay, Bahamut. I'm sorry about slashing at you just now. You revived me, right? After I passed out, well, it looks like no one stole anything off me. It seems luck is on my side again this time. For someone as cute as you. I'm starting to like her. No, for someone as pure-hearted as you to wake me up. Hehehe. <laughs> this new year is starting off great for us. Hey, partner. We've got some humans washed up over there. Two of them. Oh, is this the Oni Island from the... Maybe Raikou's event? I don't remember. I remember them. Look at that one. Tasty looking meat and nice clothes. She even got swords around her waist. That guy over there, though, no flair at all. No swords, no fancy getup. But perfect for physical labor. Let's grab him so we can make our meal. So we can make our meals. Not bad. It's about time we start aiming higher. A full fledged Oni is human slaves. It will keep those weirdos staying at the gate in check. Hey, you two humans there. If you don't want to die, come quietly and do as we say. If you resist, we won't have any choice. We'll have to hurt one of you real bad. Go on, run, can you fight? Go on, run! I'll be gentlemanly. Of course. If running would if running would take care of it, I'd be happy to, but it doesn't seem like running will do the trick. I mean, those are real Oni, right? Here we go again. I always end up in weird places like this. Fine, I shall fight. Bahamut, I'll trust you to cover me. I don't know where you idiots came from, but you sure have guts taking weird trash like you to a couple of strange... Ah. My brain's just mushing everything together. I don't know where you idiots came from, but you sure have guts. Taking weird trash like that to a couple of... Talking weird trash like that to a couple of strangers who washed up on a beach. I can tolerate thieves, miscreants, oni, centipede monsters, even osakabi hime. But I just can't stand evil jerks like you. Now, an honest match, you oni looking villains. Playtime is over. I'll send you back to hell. Okay. Time for a fight against some tiny Onis. And I brought Raiko. Of course I did, though. Oh, uh, these are weaklings. I wonder if it is actually possible for you to just forget your name, but remember everything else, including the glass guy you were fighting. That's interesting. I find it interesting that she only forgot her name. A dragon, but it's weak. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if I could build her NP. From the angle I was looking at my phone, it didn't look like it built, but... Yep, it's going up. NP strength up. Yeah, you're gonna die before you get to fire off your NP. Um... Let's focus more on Musashi, since I don't have her, and I remember her being cool in the Japanese version. I like that she uses two swords and everything as well. Although I know it's based off of Musashi Miyamoto. Who... 
I only really know because of Samurai Warriors. In fact, that's actually how I know most of the Chinese and Japanese heroes. Is basically just the Warriors games. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go with that. I need more games that are like that. More games to teach me history, because I don't remember... Well, I was only really taught American history in school. Nothing like... I never learned... Anything about Asian history, now that I can think about it. Except from the Warrior Games and whatever foreign television shows I watched. I wonder why her blades are also glowing red and green. Red and green. Is there some sort of specific effect for each one, or are they named or something? That was not much. That was not very much bond points. I'll take the mats though. Okay, let's see. Die, Onis. Eek! Or, what was her voice? Eek! What's with this human? She's super strong! That dual sword stance. Ferocious, yet perfectly controlled. The flexibility and ability to adapt to any all situations. This woman, don't tell me. She's the famous Miyamoto Musashi. The one who killed off all the disciples of the Yoshioka school. What? You know of her partner? Indeed, I once devoted myself to the way of the sword. I'm familiar with all the famous swordsmen. Ha! My voice reminded me of a speed racer meme. This woman is Miyamoto Musashi, without a doubt. No, but woman. A woman? Miyamoto Musashi? Apparently your name is Musashi. Apparently your name is Musashi. Yeah, sounds about right to me, so let's go with that. Although, I can't remember what kind of person this Musashi is. Well, she's probably a good-for-nothing person. In any case, we're still in the middle of a match. Hey, Oni, thanks for telling me my name. Oh, she's walking closer. Yee! If that's Musashi, there's no way we'd win. Sorry, Sukeroko. Die for me. <laughs> Whoa, don't push me to the front. What are you, an evil Oni? Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna die here. Oh. Hmm? I'm not dead? I'm still alive? You mean Musashi let me live? The same Musashi they say kills everyone she meets? Where did you hear that? My name. My memory is still hazy right now, but I won't cut down an opponent who's lost the will to fight. We're not at war or anything. Isn't it a bit barbaric to kill someone on first sight? If I can scare away my opponent through intimidation, that's a perfect victory. All I want's money and fame. Killing my opponents will only make people hate me. Is that so? You say that, but each of your attacks was powerful enough to kill. Well, yeah, obviously. I didn't practice my blade work just so I could go on, go easy on opponents. That said, I don't need a trail of blood and corpses following me. Only a true swordsman can stop a slash mid-strike. I don't fight if there's nothing in it for me. Let me see. Well, if you have a bounty on your head, I'ma cut it off and get that bounty. But you don't, do you? You don't look like you got a lot of money, or like someone would be paying for your head. Okay then, hate the sin, not the, um, oni. You know, what? Just consider yourself lucky and forget about me. Right, since I think I know my name now, let me reintroduce myself. I am Miramoto Mosashi, probably. Nice to meet you, Bahamut. For now, let's head to the tea shop I see on, that, on the top of that ridge. Musashi is very nice. She's a nice person, it seems. And very... memeable, if that's even a term. Saber gem. I need the third version of the gem. Interlude. First gate. Yeah, I need the third version of the gem, because I need to level up Nero's skills more, and I did not realize until late that the uh, the dailies don't give out the golden ones. This is a very rundown town. I see Chaldea servants and ray shifts. Oh my! I've never heard of any of those, but I have an idea of who you are now. 
And you're saying I'm one of those so-called servants? With that dual-wielding stance, definitely, or Musashi was a famous hero and swordsman. Uh, with that dual-wielding stance, definitely. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. I definitely don't remember getting treated like a hero or a famed swordsman. And it's not just because I don't remember much about myself, you know? That kind of makes my nose itchy. I can just feel that something about that's a bit off. I don't think I'm the same swordsman you know of, Bahamut. That's for sure, but... Eh, the little stuff can wait. Let's fill up our tummies first. Miss, bring more dumplings. Also, bring me some udon. Plain or not doesn't matter. Just give me what you got. Losing your memory doesn't bother you. Do you have any money? Mmm... Losing your memory doesn't bother you? Tee <laughs> No, just knowing my name making... Just knowing my name making... Names making this better. God, my brain. Besides, there's no use worrying about what you don't know, right? Anywho, you woke up on the island and you remember having been here before, am I correct? How did you get back to the original world before? I wonder if that strange hole is somewhere on this island too. Original world, don't tell me you too. Uh, original world? Yep, already got used to it. Happens to me a lot. I just kind of meander into weird worlds. Last time I ended up in the western part of this place called America. I had to fight a bunch of guys with pistols. The priestess that took care of me then said that I was a stranger. Apparently I'm the sort who gets spirited away all the time. That's why I end up in all sorts of places. Usually there's a hole to return to the original world nearby. So long as I can find it, I can get back to the previous world. A swordsman who race shifts without realizing it isn't that a big deal. A swordsman who race shifts without realizing it. Nah, that's just how things have always been for me. It's not like I'm dying or anything. I see. Open-hearted and cheerful like in all the stories. Even in a predicament that would kill an ordinary person. She just shrugs it off. I'm at a loss for words. Why has he got question marks? The Oni from earlier. No, hold on. Master from Chaldea. I am Sukeroko Raiden no Sukeroko, caretaker of the fields and farms on this island. And only making a meager living in Onigaishima, Onigaishima, a land that lost its master and now is fated to disappear. I couldn't help but be concerned about that woman saying she was Musashi. That's why I followed you. Oh, right. Don't just stand there. Can you sit next to me? No, I can't sit next to Miyamoto Musashi. Even if you're only claiming to be him, I'm afraid my head would come toppling off my shoulders at any moment. I think I'd prefer to stand. Also, I came here bearing good news. Onigashima is an island someone created, then abandoned. This place doesn't exist in the real world anymore. This is the boundary of dreams and illusions. These days, the only visitors we get are Oni with nowhere else to go, just like us. But today must be quite a special day. Many travelers have wandered into this dream. Three Oni occupying the gates, a master of Chaldea washing up ashore, and a lady swordsman calling herself Miyamoto Musashi tumbles into a place she's wholly connected, unconnected to. Each of you with unknown origins, but doubtless foreigners. If so, you want to return to your native world, yes? Yes, the dumpling here suck. I really do need to get back to Chaldea. Well, then matters are simple. Head for the summit of Onigashima. Her shrine still sits at the summit of Onigashima, a sanctuary shrouded in her divine aura. This world's god will reject anything that's deemed unnecessary. Given that, foreigners like you should get bounced back to your original world the moment you reach summit. That's splendid. Thanks for the advice, Lord Raiden no Sukuroko. Sure, you didn't spare my life, so I owed you one. You did spare my life, so I owed you one. No need to, then... Okay, I, Bahamut, and Lord Sukeroko shall proceed to the summit of Onigashima. We just need to go past that gate in the distance, right? You can guide us, hold our luggage, and make our meals. Oh, and I'm not really asking, I'm telling. Defy me and I'll give you some pain. So better just do what I say. What? Uh, politeness x oppression equals Musashi's power. And now we have yet another weirdo saber. And now we have yet another weirdo saber. I was not expecting that of Musashi. 
Uh, in the first place, Miyamoto Musashi is known as the most powerful swordsman in the history of Japan. He is said to have lived in the early Edo period. The Niten Ichiru he created is a style that utilized both long and short swords, and he is considered the quintessential dual-wielding style in Japan. The many duels Musashi fought with other swords masters while he was in the 20s are known across the land, and serve as inspiration for a great deal of literature and entertainment. Among us, Oni, Musashi is synonymous with the dual-wielding style, and is both feared and loved at the same time. So much so that many Oni children would swing around two clubs pretending to be Musashi. The Niten Ichiru, the Book of Five Rings, the Throne of Void. Ah, I'm starting to remember things. I haven't reached the fifth blade yet. When I was out in the Sagami area in hopes of training, I met a strange old man in a gazebo while sheltering from the rain. I see. They say Musashi was born in Ohara, Sakushu. His father's name was Shinmen Munisai, Munisai, the martial arts coach of the Shinmen clan in Takeyama Castle. His lord was the one who gave him the, gave him the name Shinmen. Munisai set up a dojo for Jite skills in Miyamoto Musashi. Wait. Oh, in Miyamoto Yoshino. Musashi considered this home, so later used Miyamoto as a surname. Stories of Miyamoto Musashi are popular, but Shinmen Munasai are incredibly skilled as well. Consider that the name he gave himself is Muni. Uh, my brain just farted. Consider that name he gave himself is Muni, which means unique. You have to be quite skilled to consider calling yourself that. To be unique to be is to be a singular, ultimate one. In other words, it's a show of powerful ego, asserting none, asserting none follow in his footsteps. Musashi, his son, calling his own style Niten, is surely respect for his great father. Hmm? I'm getting a chill somehow. Do you only catch colds as well? Uh, Musashi is totally glaring at you. I don't know why, but don't talk about her dad. I don't know why, but don't talk about her dad. Oh, right. There's not much point in trying to recount Musashi's history with her standing right here, is there? It's certainly nothing she doesn't know. Sorry about that. A slip of the tongue. It's just none of the Oni are interested in stories of the sort, so... I... I can't help but be attracted to swords. Because of that, I've spent a lot of time rifling through books and documents alone. Well, I've never heard of an Oni versed in swordsmanship. On the other hand, I have heard of people becoming Oni-like in pursuit of swordsmanship. Oh well, I already knew that was the version of the story in your world. Wait, what do you mean? In my world, Shinman Munasai was as violent as a storm, and his child was abandoned simply because she was a girl. But wait, she wasn't discouraged by the abandonment. Nope, she built a shed to live right under that bastard father's nose. I don't know what kind of swordsman Miyamoto Musashi was in the worlds of Sukeroko or Bahamut, but in my world, Miyamoto Musashi is still a nameless swordsman that lives each day in self-indulgence. Well, someone once told me I was from a world that went totally off the rails. A pruning theoretical phenomenon. That's why I'm different than the other Musashi, they said. But the Musashi in your world became famous. That's pretty awesome. When you get down to it, Miyamoto Musashi is just a careless sort of fellow. But in his version, he was at least able to touch the throne of void. Pruning theoretical phenomenon? Throne of void? Uh... Throne of void? Pruning theoretical phenomenon? I've never heard the term before. What does it mean? Who knows? Perhaps it's a destiny like the morning dew. I don't know that all, all that much I, myself. Ah, uh, yep. It's these gates. Oh, maybe this is more of a banana oni. This is the first great gate. This is the gate of Kazako Maru. Kazako Maru. <clears throat> this was the gate Kazako Maru guarded in the past. Ho 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 ho, how dare you show up, CD bald oni and country girl who doesn't even have a long sleeve kimono. It's the new year, the first dawn of the year. The neighborhood overflows with new year gifts and the pharaoh's son. Pharaoh? No day is as joyous as today. In other words, yes, in other words, it's my turn. Yeah. Oh, something from the top. Oh, it's Cleopatra. Yeah. Silence. And more silence. Eh? What is this? 
This quite as if this was a mall where every store was shuttered and closed. That was a mistake, making an elegant and conservative entrance just because it is the new year. What was I thinking? Right, a pharaoh must be brazen like the glimmering sun for any and every occasion. Just like the great Osmandius and Nitocris. You know, I'm not like that. Yes, I appreciate your support from the bottom of my heart, pharaoh Nitocris. That's, that's really not what I meant. Alright, now that I have my support, let's try this again. Yeah. She jumped. And coming from the same point. Ho 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 ho, surprised you made it here, scrawny ugly oni and girl with three buster cards. <laughs> but your advance ends here. I will not allow any further violence. That's because, yes, that's because I'm going to turn this island to my second castle. Oh, she's charging. Second castle, she she wouldn't repeat the nightmare of Castle Sejite. <laughs> she she wouldn't repeat the nightmare of Castle Sejite. Right, I couldn't borrow a pyramid from Pharaoh Osmandius this time. But I have superior money management skills. Give me three days and this gate will be renovated into a classy spa. Once I'm done, you will be able to rest into rest to your heart's content. The first three days of the year are special, so take it easy. Really? We have no money, but you'll let us stay in an inn? Heh, of course, samurai girl. That obi you have is quite exquisite. I'm always looking for new girlfriends. So she says. No idea what she's talking about, but she seems awfully generous, I guess. It's the new year, right? How about we forget about going to the summit and just rest here? You realize she's going to put you to work, right? Our new year's vacation will end. Our new year's vacation will end! No, you can take longer than those special three days. I mean, some schools are taking the entire week off, no? Who knows? I heard people are starting to work a lot sooner, you know. Sooner now. I knew it. She runs a shady business. The only real miracle in the world should be a Udon. Let's defeat her and move on. She holds... She holds her head so high. Not only... Do you not go with my plan, but you accuse me of running a shady business? Now I must fight. I'm the final heir of the pharaoh fighting style, the very incarnation of beauty. Cleopatra the seventh Philopater Philopater Philopater? I don't know what heroic spirit you are, but I'm not just a supreme beauty. What? Pharaoh fighting style. You know of it, Raiden? Raiden? Yes, in a land far to the west someone devised a magical attack strengthened by pompous acts and laughs. The more pompous and cocky you act, the greater king you become. To think those are the requirements to inherit such a fighting style. Obviously, I don't need to tell you that once you inherit the style, you always look at people with your head held. Okay, stand back, Lord Tsukeroko. That girl's weapon is a sickle chain as big as Baikin's. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cleopatra and a Sphinx. I was actually expecting to fight Nito Chris and uh, Cleopatra. And maybe Osmandius, what with. Uh, Need to increase at least being her talking. Um, I still haven't seen Musashi's Noble Phantasm, so I'll try and build that. At least I haven't seen it in this game. And this will actually be a full length episode. I was expecting this limited time thing to be short, but I'm already at 30 minutes according to my recording. Uh, let's see. Oh wow, doubled the number of hits of normal attacks? Slightly... Strength greatly decreases for each hit, but overall damage increases according to skill level. That sounds awesome. Oop. Uh, apply Ignore Invincible, Increase Buster Card. Okay, so yeah, just continue... Building the regular way. Maybe I will run... Uh, roll for Musashi. <clears throat> It'll be... Uh... No, I don't think she'll be the first SSR for me in 2019. Because I think I got... When when did I get Merlin? I have to check my vi my uh, when I uploaded my video. No, that won't tell me either. Hmm. Yeah, I'm curious... Actually, I'm actually curious who all I got in 2018 and... Uh who all I got in, or if I've gotten anyone in 2019, that's SSR. Uh, hmm. Yeah, 
Eh, yeah. Doesn't really help me, but whatever. The first quick card will build some NP. Oops, I aimed at Cleopatra. Now the Sphinx is going to get an attack as well. Okay, so everyone needs to put on their defenses, because Cleopatra's got her Noble Phantasm. Which one was it? Evade? And she doesn't have one. Um, hmm. Damn it, and they didn't even give me another Musashi card. Um, what should I do? What should I do? Uh, I guess we'll have to just tough it out. Or try to. Um... Sure, let's go with that combination. I'm actually curious, because I don't know what Musashi looks like in her final ascension form. I don't assume she gets the giant short and long sword she has in Samurai Warriors. Not They weren't really giant, they were more like Ichigo's Shikai, uh, Zanpakuto, before he learned uh, its name, where it was just a thick sword, or a thick katana. Wide, that's the word I'm looking for, is wide. Oh, Musashi barely survived, but she has Noble Phantasm, so... I'm gonna fire that off. H or hit count up. You know, invincible buster up. Might as well use everyone's. Even though I'm pretty sure Musashi's gonna kill her. Okay. Doot doot and doot. Uh, six path, five rings. I didn't see the rest of it. Uh, well, it's a new first time seeing this, so. Six path, five rings, coot. Damn it. It went by quick. I don't think I have, uh, quick noble phantasms on. Yeah, I definitely don't. So those are four blades. And here's the fifth blade. Boom! Definitely killed her. It's definitely a cool Noble Phantasm. I don't remember if it hits all enemies or if it just hits one. Definitely cool. I like her color scheme too. The purplish blue and the red. Let's see. Huh. Got a scarab. Yay. Uh, back of the gate. Kya! I may have just blew out the mic doing that. Amazing, the match is over. Winner, Shinmen Musashi no Kami. Ah, hearing that declaration of victor felt so good. Thanks, Bahamut. <laughs> she gets back up. <laughs> you people don't know how a, know a good opportunity when you see one. This is where you should be praising me. This is your chance to receive the greatest New Year's gift ever. My unparalleled beauty. But I will not give up. My dream of a fitness boot camp island... For the sake of my dear Caesar, I will make Cleopatra Fitness Island a reality. Ah, uh, she's gonna make Caesar lose weight. <laughs> uh, huh? She disappeared. I didn't even hit her that hard, though. She went back to Chaldea. I don't have her. Why is she going back there? I see. Glad I didn't end up killing her. Okay, moving on. From the look of things, these, um, servants, you call them, I bet they'll be at the other gates, too. It'll be, a good, if, it'll be good if we can talk things out with them. But if we have to fight, that's fine too. Wielding my sword will probably restore my memories, and I'm happy for any chance to fight a strong opponent. Oh, that was the first screen tearing I just noticed. Yay, another... Oh, I was hoping for the red one. There's the red one. Interlude second gate. I wonder how many of these there are. I may have to cut this video down. Okay, second gate. Let's see what happens at this one. I don't remember the order of the gates, if it was red, blue, green, obviously green's first. I don't remember if it's red or blue next. Oh, it's blue. And Tamama no Mai. Ha ha ha! Oh, uh, let me see, thinking of a voice, how can I do her? Nya ha ha, Master here on New Year's Welcome. 
that doesn't sound right. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Oh well, I'll just do my generic female voice. Ha ha ha, Master here on New Year's Welcome. On New Year's Welcome. I'm the dream cat guarding the second gate. My name is Tamamo Cat, woof. There will be no lounging around a Katatsu eating mandarin oranges here. Now it's a fox girl? Bahamut, your friends are weird. Of course, Master has an A rank in endurance and will listen to even the ramblings of a wild cat with patience. However, why did my voice start going to Suke Roko's voice? However, however, this cat is ticked. I've been carefully getting ready for a nice traditional New Year's meal since the end of last year. I was willing to skip the last battle for it. Honestly, being an all-star is so annoying. So I was peeling my shrimp, resolved to duck out of any battles. When Master, Master, Master ordered the New Year's meal at a convenience store. And he even ordered one for me, so considerate. But that turned out to just, turned out to just really make me angry. Ah, that's no good. Don't you know why New Year's meals are so elaborate, kid? They're made of food that lasts so that the lady of the house doesn't have to cook for three days straight. And they're made elaborately and lovingly with as many of the husband's favorite food as possible. It's their way of showing their gratitude at the end of the year. Huh? Yes, they say New Year's Day delicate. Yes, damn it. Yes, they say New Year's Day dictates the rest of the year, you know. So traditionally, for the wife, pleasing her significant, significant other with a homemade New Year's meal is a way to infuse the relationship with love, spirit, joy, and mutual support for the whole year ahead. And you just went out and got a store-bought one? Even my jerk dad gets quiet in front of... Even my jerk dad gets quiet in front of a New Year's meal. Huh? That's right, this kitty's chest is about to burst with sadness. Actually, it did burst, and the result was... Happy New Year's, Master! I'm Tamamo Cat Woof Woof, the hawk! Never get store-bought meals. I'm Tamamo Cat Woof Woof Woof, and I'm taking it to the danger zone. It's all her ascensions. As you can see, the sadness split my heart into three pieces, and the result was the raging feline Tamamo Cat. Hehehe, <laughs> one's good enough, and now there's two more of us. We're gonna need a whole lot of carrots. Now we have no choice but to open up a maid cafe, or rather a maid cat fay. But where do we get the cats? Impressive, a maid enterprise prizing enough to open up a cafe. How modern, does that make master the cafe owner? That's right kitties, so let's grab our master. Open cats, eagle, jaguar, bear, let's combine. Let's go master, it's time for some triple cat trouble. That was interesting. Well, that was interesting. And I forgot that uh, the other Tamamo cat is just a naked apron. That uh, is usually in a lot of hentais and whatnot. Oh, well, that's funny. Uh, oop, I nudged the mic. Uh, let's see. Well, I've seen the Noble Phantasm, so I'm just gonna wipe them out with Raiko. Oh, I should have read what the her noble phantasm's called. Oh well. It's probably in good taste that I'm using a Japanese servant in a Japanese event. And I'm pretty sure this is actually her event too. Or at least the land we're in. I don't really remember that well though. And I definitely didn't record the story for it. I'm sure I could go back to the backlog of it and... Or the uh, catalog of it and read it. Bye, Naked Apron. I wonder why she's called Tamamo Cat, but she woofs. That's always confused me, and I'm not sure why she does it. Hey, I, got, I did a weekly... And got chess pieces. Okay, give me that red one. I'm gonna need those. Another red one. I assume the last one either gives me... There'll be another one that'll give me the gold star piece. Oh, third gate. 
or it'll give me the summon ticket. Oh, we're here. Huh? The last gate's supposed to be here. But instead, there's this weird field. And what's that funky steel tower? That rocket. Watch out, you'll be ambushed. Watch out, you'll be ambushed! Uh, a ghastly aura. Whoop. Heh, not bad, new saber. You guys just keep popping up like weeds, don't you? I've been watching from afar. What's with that cool battle animation? A true saber should only use a single beloved blade. Using two is so wrong. Wait. You use two? What are you talking about? It's in your noble phantasm. <laughs> Using two is so wrong. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, dual wielding isn't a saber style at all. Musashi, that's a ninja. Yeah, dual wielding isn't a saber style at all. That is correct. I knew you were the type of master who would understand Bahamut. Hello. I was being sarcastic, because you used two. Here's your New Year's present. It's red bean paste balls they sell at a station on planet Guntama. Anyway, did you hear that, newbie? Dual wielding is my thing, so cut it out. Oh, well, yeah, she's an assassin. I forgot about that. She's not a saber. Even my self-control... Oh, I may have missed something. Oh, no? Even my self-control, which is reinforced as tightly as a plasma chain, is still about to snap. Either way, I'm going to attack like I'm the victor of this fight. I am Heroin, Heroin X, the Space Saber. I work to maintain the balance of the Servant Universe by defeating that ever-growing number of sabers. All things must be perfectly in balance. Taste my ever-so-flashy Saber Ninja technique. What? Saber Ninja technique, you say? I knew you would know about this, Raiden. Yes, it's a demonic technique some traveler taught to the King of Knights after the latter crossed the sea by mistake and got lost on Mount Katsuragi. Though extraordinarily powerful, it's a cursed technique that becomes almost useless once the user joins your side. I never thought such a technique would ever get implemented. I mean, would actually exist. Heh, <laughs> I may not have a nameless red or babagan with me this time, but I do have barbaric techniques that only... that can only be used alone. What were those two things? Heh, I may not have Nameless Red. Which one was Nameless Red? I don't think it was Nero. Maybe it was. I don't have Nameless Red or Baba Gun. I don't know. Get ready, dual wielder, and be careful. Oh, get ready, dual wielder, and be careful, Bahamut. Don't underestimate me just because it's New Year's. I'm kind of seriously strong right now. Fine, bring it on. Please go easy since it's New Year's. Please go easy since it's New Year's. Okay. Oh, just fighting her. Okay. Hey, they're getting stronger. She's got 54,000 health. Um, I'll use... Oh, I should have just fired off the... Uh, Lightning King. Or Lightning of the Aqua King. Why do I call it Lightning King? Saber Ninja Art Tatami Wall. Is that actually what it's called? I'll have to look that up. I'm very curious now. I'd never noticed that. I also don't have her, but whenever I've borrowed her, I don't remember it being called that. That's pretty funny. And close. Saber Ninja Art Tatami Wall. She's just increasing her defense. Fugu Pain? That's different. Okay, she definitely, I think, has different attacks, because I don't remember her having a poison technique. I know she's got the um, one ability that activates the Terran later, but it doesn't poison. Then she has increased Sea Star Gather or something like that, and something that I think buffs her cards. I can't really remember. But I don't think she had anything poison, or ninja named. The saber's a pain. Just like me, she'll do whatever it takes to win, and it really looks like anything goes. No way. Sure, I'll do whatever I need to in order to win, but my policy is to master a single technique. Niten Ichiru is an attempt to a challenge and be overcome absolute one. I've set my eyes on your weakness. I shall reach the apex of heaven. Now prepare yourself. Uh, she's after my left hand. I know what she's doing, but I don't think I can stop her. 
and off of their hand. Oh, to the wall. Ow, ow, ow! I can't believe she destroyed the WFD bracelet on my wrist. This was specially made by the new engineer that joined my Knights of the Roundtable team, Lionhead. <laughs> Very well, we'll finish this later. Actually, I'm running away because I'm scared. But don't think you've won. A second and third me will appear one of these days. Just wait for it. Until we meet again, Bahamut. I'll see you in yet another spacey war someday. Star Wars. Episode 9. It better be called, or it better be better than Last Rogue will be the subtitle. She also disappeared. Well, that was a strange opponent. Did I say Last Rogue? I meant Last Jedi. Damn it. Bahamut, are all servants like that? X is special. Just forget about her. X is special. I see. She's, so she's an exception among exceptions. That explains why we got along so well. Huh? What exactly does that mean? Neither she nor I really part of this world. In a sense, we're alike that way. You know, I'm the kind of girl who randomly wanders into different worlds. I know how it feels to be left out no matter where you are. I knew it. Anyway, this is the final gate. We're almost to the top. Let's hurry before someone else stops us. So who else are we fighting? Okay, another red one. Let's see. Oh, yay! The gold one. I need those. Although I only get one, but that's fine. It gets me closer to one more ability up for Nero Bride. Oh, we're back here. Whoa, so that's what the incineration of humanity was. You battled and went through a lot. Oh, this is right after uh, Solomon. Whoops! Well, I know when to upload this now. Or at least put it in order in the playlist. That means you took back our history and future, right? That's amazing. I'm sure everyone praised you for that. So let me add in as a bonus, good work. Bahamut, I'm sure it was a long year for you. Oh, and another thing, Master of Chaldea, Happy New Year. Thanks to you, I can continue my journey. I was helped by so many around me, what's your goal for your journey? I was helped by so many around me. Aw, oh, come on, bonding with others is great and all, but that alone's not enough to do it justice. In the end, it was all about your potential. I'm very interested in you as well, Shinmin Musashi. Why have you continued your wanderings, your wandering journeys? Hmm, my journey is just too perfect. It's just to perfect my skills, so there's no real goal. I guess if I had a goal, it's to get home to my world and to master my blade work. My dad, Munasai's blade, was about one. A perfected one. A one that reached heights and that could never be exceeded. But I hate that damn old man. So I want to surpass him no matter what it takes. So I want a sword that can exceed one before I die. I want to reach the throne of the void. I want to achieve zero. Interesting. Ooh, lightning. There it is. I feel it, Bahamut. There's a hole there. I can see it, but I can I can't see it, but I can tell we got here pretty anticlimactically. <laughs> I like that. We got here pretty anticlimactically. Well, you're right, it's too bad since we got to know each other so well. I have my own world, and you have your own world of Chaldea. It's a shame, but we have to say goodbye. If we have the chance, I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere. That's what you think. Not that will... Not... No, that will never happen. You will die here, Shinmin Musashi. You said you wanted to go home, right? But that was never going to happen in the first place. Is he transforming? Yep. To Baikin. I think it's Baikin. Hmm? He's turning into a servant. He's turning into a servant. What? Did you know me, Sukuroku? Sukuroku? Did you follow me around because you hated me for some reason? That's right. For a long, long time, I had forgotten. I had forgotten how I became an Oni. Oh, on that day, I fought with you. After I killed those monkey-like brats in the Miyamoto village. I just happened to pass you on by the mountain road. What a beautiful sight you were. There in the twilight, the very embodiment of evil. I knew instantly that I had to fight you or I would have regretted it. That's how beautiful your demeanor was. It was enough to drive me mad and I had let you go. And you defeated me. And now I'm finally able to remember your words you uttered at that time. 
If it's for money or honor, I'm going to run. If it's for hate or duty, I'll run then too. But if you say your spirit can't survive unless you kill me, then I shall fight you. If our lives cannot exist without killing each other, then I shall resign myself to this bloodshed. Yeah, that sounds right. I'll kill someone for that reason. Indeed. So then you defeated me, and I wandered the world harboring a grudge. The next thing I knew, I had become an Oni that had forgotten everything. But, meeting you brought back my rage. I will repeat what I said then. Fight me, flower that blossoms at the apex of heaven. Life is meaningless to kill me if you don't kill you. Life is meaningless to me if I don't kill you. <sighs> Sorry, Bahamut. Can you help me out? I don't think I can slay him completely, but with you, I can let him move on to the next life. I know it's a pain, but... Alright, it won't be... F All right, it won't be for your sake. Yep, I knew. Or, I knew I could count on the one who saved the world. It's impressive at, a your, at your age. Very well, you obsessed Oni. I don't know who you are. No, I don't even remember your name. You must be one of the many warriors I slew. I doubt I'll remember this fight either, but come. I am Shinmen Musashi no Kami Fujiwara no Harunobu. Master of the Niten Ichiru with my fifth force, I shall cut your obsession crosswise. Okay. Arima Kihei. Oh. I wasn't expecting that name. I figured because it's Baiken, or, um, yeah, I think it's Baiken, that they would just name him Baiken. Damn, he's got two, 299,000. Um, thankfully I have two savers now. So he'll go down very easily. And Musashi. Not doing much. Leave it to Nero to do a lot. How dare you hit Mama Raiko. I'm gonna buff her up. And just fire at him. Because I have a feeling she'll probably die soon. Mm, let's see. Might as well do that. And... I should probably save that... For... If I get her Noble Phantasm... Nah, let's use that. Oh, it only works for one turn, and she's not even... I'm an idiot, I swear. Oh well. Go with all Raikou. And Musashi's only level 50 anyway. She's not gonna do as much damage as my Raikou or my Nero. I swear those things are like they have... Those things look like they have a life of their own. And I've talked about them in the past, so I'm not gonna name what they are. But just look at them! They're like moving on their own. Next thing you know, they'll be eating and talking. That would be a weird sight, actually. Damn, that didn't do as nearly... do nearly as much as I was hoping for. Excuse me. I'm very belchy at the moment. Okay... I will go with all Musashi. A brave chain's a lot better than mixing it up, I think. In my opinion. Nice! Cross Slash. Ha! That doesn't hurt Nero in the slightest. You punk. Now I'm gonna beat you up for hitting Nero. Uh, I, in fact, Nero's gonna beat you up for hitting Nero. Stab. Slash. More slashes. More slashes. Slash. Stop attacking my people. It's not nice. Oh, he's got his noble phantasm. Just to be safe. I don't remember what his actually does. Oh. I'll just stun him. <laughs> That'll be fine. And... Should be able to kill him with Musashi. Did not kill him with Musashi. Uh, I'll leave it up to Raiko. Boom! Good old Raiko. She is a great berserker to have. 
eh, decent amount of experience. Or bond points. Okay, slice. More slices. Alright, uh, whatchamacallit, your life is mine. Go oh. This inescapable declaration of death. This is it. This is the flower of the blade I saw on that day. Haha. <laughs> but how futile. Poor Musashi, how sad, Musashi. The desire to return home. You cannot return anywhere. You are the same as the heroic spirits. I'm sure you've realized it already. Your world disappeared a long time ago. You were ejected from your vanishing world and you are going up a creek without a paddle through the worlds of others. You'll be an outcast forever and ever. There's no world left for you to belong to. You will never be able to return home and your journey will continue forever. That is, until the time you meet the greatest foe of your life. Thus, I pity you, for such a master of the arts does not exist. Hold it. I hate to criticize someone's dying words, but what are you talking about? I can encounter all kinds of greatest foes. I mean, I was almost killed by a scary old guy just recently. No, that's not it. That's not it, Musashi. There are no doubt better swordsmen, greater masters than you. But that is not what I mean by your greatest foe. It's the path you seek. To a swordsman, the greatest foe is one who has mastered the path, the origin opposite to their own. But, but that will never be fulfilled. Such a person doesn't even exist. The swordsman of the heavenly eye, the path where zero rivals one, the path where zero rivals one is the other words, in other words, infinity. No swordsman has ever reached infinity. Such a path is something no one can ever reach. Thus, your journey will never end. You are just like a drifting boat. Oh, how I pity you, Musashi. How sad you are, Musashi. All your talent will never pay off. Even with all your training, you will never get a chance to truly use it. Like a flower blooming in the twilight, you will only scatter idly. Oh, well, bye. Purple. Be gone to your next life. Someday I will join you. Musashi. Alright, now that the pain in the neck is gone, it really is time to say goodbye. That Oni said I can't go back to my old world, but don't let it bother you too much. If nothing else, I can go back to the world where I... the world I was in before I came here, just like how you'll wake up in Chaldea. Oh, if you do make it safely back, immortalize me in a journal of sort or something. Well, we were companions for a while. A really, really short while, though. Yeah, about an hour. I want you to remember, too. Yes, of course. Anyway, goodbye, Master. Oh, right. I'm so dumb. How could I just realize this now? A once-a-year joyous and happy event. Of course it was fun. This was the first dream you had in the new year. Bye, Musashi. Oh, she's gonna be lonely. Yeah. See you later, Musashi. I think I will roll for her after that. I don't want her to be lonely. Granted, I'm probably not going to use her. Or at least if I decide to like knuckle down on my grinding skills, I definitely will have her in a party? Maybe? Hey, it's New Year's. Foe? Foe? Hey, Mash. I figured it was you. Good morning, Senpai. Happy New Year. As I promised last night, I am here for your 7 o'clock wake-up call. You're going to help DaVinci with her mochi-making party, right? I can't wait to... Master? Um, is something wrong? It looks like you were crying. I don't know. I think I had a strange dream. I think I had a strange dream. Fo fo? I see, but it wasn't a bad one, was it? How do I know, you ask? I can tell. You look very happy. It was sad, but there was also something good. That's the look you always have when that happens. Fo fo. I see. Happy New Year, Mash. Let's go see Da Vinci. I see. Happy New Year, Mash. Right. I'll accompany you on your first mission of 2019, Master. Fo fo. And like that, we made mochi till sundown.
Yay, give me that golden saber gem. Yeah, secret gem of saber. Oh, I didn't get a summon ticket. Normally they give summon tickets at the end of those. <gasps> no, I've been gypped. Oh, I've got five friend requests now. Uh, summon. Is she even available still? Uh, let's see. I've got 32, so I could do a 10. Yeah, there she is. And I've got some, I've got eight tickets, so. Hey, this will also be a roll for MASH. A roll for Musashi video. I will start with the tens. I thought about doing the paid summon, but at the moment I can't afford to buy anything. That is not important. Okay, let's see. I might as well just sit it out since it's only ten of them. So we got a Berserker, not what I'm looking for. Darius the Third. Darius the Third. Um another servant. It's an archer. Uriel. Well, I have plenty of her, so I'm gonna sell that. And Darius. Uh craft essence. Oh, it's something new. Izome the first arrow. Hmm. I'll have to read that one. I don't know what that one does. Uh, servant. That's a caster. Not Merlin. Charles Babbage. Oh, maybe that's Baba Jin. Maybe. Uh, craft essence. Eh, stuffed lion. Don't need that. Servant. And it's another archer. Billy the Kid. Yeah, I think that Izume is technically the four star, the guaranteed four star drop, so. It's probably all I'm getting, knowing my luck. Mana gauge, woo. Craft Essence. Hey, that's new at least. Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I love learning with Fate. That's a funny manga series. Or comic strips. Servant. An Assassin. Fuma Evil Wind Kotaru. Kotaro. And... Craft Essence. Ryu Doji Temple. Ugh, a bunch of useless stuff. Oh well. Mm, now onto the summon tickets. It's. Craft Essence! Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And this one is... Mm, it's loading. It's a servant. It's gold! Now it's a berserker. Beowulf. Interesting. I don't think I have him. Nope, I do. Otherwise we would have seen dialogue. Uh, let's see. Craft Essence. Stuff lion. And. Loading. Servant. A lancer. The Armood. Don't care. Come on, Musashi. Come home. Don't be lonely. It's craft essence. Now, oh, extremely spicy mapo tofu. I got three tickets left. More loading and servant and archer. David, woo. Uh, 
And... Craft Essence. Verdant Sound of Destruction. Have plenty of that. And my final ticket will be... Craft Essence. Damn it, Gem Magecraft at, at Tumbra. I have that one too. Damn it, Musashi didn't come home. Oh, well, oh well. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And pop in for the next one if you could. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.